Hey, I'm Nick with Technic, and in today's episode, we're going to look at these speakers for your gaming setup, the THX Pro Media 2.1 system from Klipsch. All right, so we've got some normal speakers on our setups currently, and we're probably going to follow this up with some comparisons. But in this video, we're not going to compare these to any other speakers. We're just going to open, unbox, give you our thoughts on this, and let you hear a little bit coming off of this. Now, I will say I have clips in uh, my movie room setup, so I'm expecting something pretty amazing here out of the box. I believe over $100 is the normal price point. We found these on sale for $89. So you can see we've got two uh, tabletop speakers, a subwoofer, and then some cables, and as always, the instructions. Legendary clip sound for your games, music, movies, workstation, or home office. 200 watts of power for high output dynamic sound. Easy to reach volume and subwoofer controls. THX certified headphone connection so you can actually plug straight in off of that tabletop connection and have headphones pop them out, and you've got your surround sound going as well. So it's time to open this thing up, and we're gonna get to cutting. Easy does it, fella. Easy does it. So from the, uh, from the top here, first speaker, and it is separate. We'll set it out. And another desktop speaker. Some silica gel. Keep it fresh. And, ooh, we have a subwoofer. That's the only scary thing about subwoofers. I almost wish they would put them in a tray with handles. Because you don't have, you feel like you're going to puncture. The only place to grab these is the, the air vent or the face of the freaking sub itself to get them out of these boxes. And see, that's exactly what happened. All right, so here is the whole massive setup. And let's unsheath what we're working with. Ooh, she's pretty. One of these bags here is feet. You will want to put the little feet on here. What they're going to give you is a separation so that when this thing is shaking and bumping and grooving, we'll put them in the four corners, that the wood is not rattling against whatever you have it on. Also, subs do better on wood. Sound will carry better on that. If your room you're using this in is concrete floor, you're not going to have optimal performance, but I would still have this on the floor. You're actually going to be able to, this sound will actually travel through the floors magically and through the room and you'll get some pretty good sound out of this. This is a pretty big subwoofer for a computer setup. So I would imagine we're going to probably blow the doors off. Okay, so this is what's in the box. Now we've got some directions, a little important safety instruction booklet. It's probably like a quick setup guide. Here is some warranty information, and then here's the owner's manual. So you can go through, and it'll probably even tell you what volume it recommends that you use this at. Um, this is not stuff that I care about. Computer speakers are normally all kind of wired together. These are a little bit different. These speakers are remote, and then we're going to plug into the sub as well. So that part you will have to do. We're going to plug this up real quick and run it just off of a phone to just get an idea of how these sound. So you're not, don't judge me on the cabling because this is going to go everywhere. There are a lot of ties. I will say these are high, these are nice quality ties. We can, we can use all of these and that's good because there's about 57 back of the speaker. Okay. Pretty simple. Here's your satellite speaker hookups. So what this is on your speakers, if you'll look, these little cables, one is solid black, one is black that has a red line down it. And as you can imagine, the red will go into the red and the black will go into the black. So let's see which hookup is which. This is the left and this one is the right. So again, the black goes into the black and you'll just depress this tab and then slide your speaker cable in and you'll depress the red tab and we're putting in the black wire with the red line on it and then party people we do it again there we go we will need power momentarily but not now because we're playing with live wires obviously cable management is going to be a thing here 
I feel like I'm getting trapped back here. We need a search team to come and get me out of here. I am currently now wired. I'm part of this system. I don't think I can escape. I'm gonna need a flathead screwdriver, people. Chop, chop! Through the magic of Cinema Studio. Wow. No magic. It's a flathead screwdriver. And I will tell you, you don't have to do this super tight. As a matter of fact, you probably cause damage. So don't do it, folks. Now, I will tell you, there's a little subwoofer side plate here. It's firm, it's very solid, but if you really push on that, you're gonna, you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have an issue, boys and girls. Now, what I expect to have, is probably a little bit of feedback, considering I'm wired up like I'm in the electric chair. So any hum you hear um, is just normal. It shouldn't have it, um, you shouldn't normally be sitting inside of your power supply. I don't recommend that. Feeling the backing off of these little rubber feet, not foam like I said earlier. Sticking them in the four corners. I hope you edit out the majority of this. I feel like I'm having a Jerry Lewis day. Oi, lady! Oh. Okay. We're at 27 minutes. I think we got about two minutes of good footage. Yeah, two minutes of footage. That's what, that's what, same thing happens in the bedroom too. Judge not lest ye be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to put the feet on the, the rubber on the bottom of this. Wow. You've been maybe watching Technic and you're like, what's one that's safe and G-rated that I can show my grandparents? Well, count on the good old people at Clips Audio. To help you with that one, this episode is going to be nice and calm until I start playing a bunch of booty music through these speakers. We're just moments away, folks. I really am nervous with the amount of wiring carried across my body at this moment. On the front speaker here, we've got sub control and we've got main volume control. It's always safe to play your own content on YouTube. At least that's what my lawyer told me. Yeah, I don't think that that's true. That's the worst attorneys. Okay. So what, remember I was talking about when you sit inside your cable? It's fine. It's fine. The Technic intro has a good bass rich uh, with some high tones in there as well. We got a little bit of electricity flowing through there. So it's a good, um, a good audio sampling. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to move Mosey on up to 50% volume on the sub and the mains. Buckle up, boys and girls. Everybody, today we will look at the Gekatech digital scale. <laughs> I'm Nick with that's what I feel like is going to happen to me and all this wiring. <laughs> yeah, that's where we got the logo at, the uh, theme song, people. I got electrocuted on set a couple of times. I never do this, but we're going to. We're going to 100. We're going to see what happens and see if we fall out in the floor. Now, obviously, post-production, we have to just uh, make this playable volume for YouTube. The 100%. Let's go. And hello, everybody. Today we will look at the Gekatech digital scale. I'm Nick. So, That's hey, incredible. these sound absolutely phenomenal. I'd like to show you a bunch of other stuff that we want to try on these, but I don't want to run the risk of YouTube pulling them down because I don't own the music because as much as I try Nicki Minaj will not return my calls so we're gonna play around a little bit off camera for a minute and then give you kind of our final thoughts okay wow I'm not even all right so we need here's what we need royalty free music samples yeah. <sighs> there's a roasted pig on my lawn. I 
stabbed a pig on my lawn. So we went away. I'm not sure what we'll be able to show. Maybe you can show it in fast forward and show my elation as we went through it. Um, not wanting to uh, obviously um, gank anybody's music and take it for our own. So, but we we sampled some stuff on this clear, crisp, deep sounding bass and high audio. I I'm really really impressed for a 2.1 system for what's happening here. There is and I and and hear me for this part. There is more subwoofer here than you need. If this is for a gaming setup or for a, uh, a PC setup, or I mean, even in a in a living room, this is a, an extremely capable system. I think this is a fantastic pickup. We'll have the information in the bottom of the video down here, but we grabbed this for under a hundred dollars. Maybe the best pickup we've had in a while. I'm already a Clips fan, but I can't say enough about this. I mean, I'm truly impressed with this. This is going on my main setup, and I will be replacing. The speakers that are on there. Now it brings out a question that we had from somebody earlier looking for just a startup set of speakers and if you notice at Walmart there's a company called On that has had a uh, lot of products start kind of invading the space. Speakers down to like 20 bucks, 30 bucks I think was there a pair for that was 10? A $10 pair. Now I can tell you we will we will review the $10 pair coming up. I'm not gonna give anything away. But for eight times the cost, nine times the cost, if I'm adding in tax and all the luxury you know, stuff there, wherever you live, they're going to tax you. Nine times the cost, is it worth it to buy this versus a $10 set that you just got something on so you can play? Yes! Yes, it is. Absolutely, it is without doubt. If you're getting a mid-range system that's 30 40 bucks, is it worth doubling up to this? Yes. Yes, again, this is super clear, super crisp. The bass is amazingly there. It doesn't fade out. It's not clipping, popping. We have a solid sound coming out of a 2.1 system. So I can't say enough about this. This is the first product I am going to two thumb up recommend without doubt for the channel. Everything else has kind of been our thoughts and seeing what you think. This one gets it. If you're looking for a speaker setup, this is the way you go. The Clips Pro Media 2.1 THX. Fantastic product. And I hope that you add it to your setup. I want to thank you guys for watching Technic. we got much more to come. We appreciate all your support. We'll catch you next time.